ASHTO T84 and ASTM C128 are the standard method of test for specific gravity and absorption of fine aggregate. The purpose of the relative density or specific gravity test, as well as absorption, are to determine the physical properties of the fine aggregate. A change in this number may change the proportions in a concrete mixture. Specific gravity is the ratio of a material's mass or weight in air at a stated temperature to an equal volume of gas-free distilled water also at a stated temperature. For fine aggregate there are three distinct conditions of specific gravity. There is specific gravity in the oven dry condition, specific gravity in the SSD condition, SSD means saturated surface dry, and apparent specific gravity. The difference between the three is this. When specific gravity is reported in the oven dry condition, it is taking into account the pore space within the aggregate when that pore space is filled with air. When specific gravity is reported in the SSD condition, it takes into account the pore space within the aggregate when that pore space is filled with water. And apparent specific gravity does not take into account the pore space, but only the impermeable portions of the aggregate. Density is the per unit volume of a material expressed in either kilograms per cubic meter or pounds per cubic foot. Absorption is the increase in mass of an aggregate due to the water that has been absorbed into the pores of that aggregate. And this is a good time to note that aggregates which have been mined from below the water table may have higher absorption values if they are not permitted to dry. To perform this test, we will need a balance conforming to the requirements of M231 Class G2. For ASTM, the balance must be accurate to 0.1 grams or 0.1% of the test sample. Furthermore, the balance should be capable of holding at least one kilogram of material and a suitable container like that described in Ashto T133. When preparing the sample, the sample should be dried and cooled, and then immersed in water for 15 to 19 hours. There is an exception to this rule. When the absorption and specific gravity values are to be used for proportioning concrete mixtures with aggregates used in their naturally moist condition, the requirement for initial drying to a constant mass may be eliminated, and if the surface of the particles have been kept wet, the 15-hour soaking period may also be eliminated. Once our sample has been properly prepared, we must first determine if it is in the saturated surface dry condition. To do this, we must perform what is called the surface moisture test. To perform this test, we need a mold with an inside diameter at the top of 40 plus or minus 3 millimeters, an inside diameter at the bottom of 90 plus or minus 3 millimeters and a height of 75 plus or minus 3 millimeters. Furthermore, the cone should be made of metal with a minimum thickness of 0.8 millimeters. We will also need a tamper. The tamper shall weigh 340 plus or minus 15 grams and have a circular tamping face of 25 plus or minus 3 millimeters. And once our sample is in the saturated surface dry condition, we will need a suitable container for the procedure. Let's now go through the performance review for Ashto T84 and ASTM C128, specific gravity and absorption of fine aggregate. First, we'll perform the surface moisture test. Remember, before beginning this test, there should be some surface moisture present in the sample. 
The first thing we want to do is hold the mold on a firm, non-absorbent surface. Then, we're going to fill the cone with our sample until it's overflowing. Now, holding our 340 gram tamper about 5 millimeters above the top of the sample, we want to drop the tamper onto the sample 25 times. Now, we want to lift the mold vertically. If the sample retains its molded position, then it can be assumed that surface moisture is still present. Therefore, tumbling, stirring, or providing a warm stream of air is permissible to speed up the drying process. When the sample slumps slightly, it is considered to be in the saturated surface dry condition. For aggregates that do not readily slump, there are alternative procedures for preparing the sample. There is the provisional cone test, the provisional surface test, the colorimetric procedure, as well as the procedure using a hard finish and paper towels. These procedures can be found in Section 7, Note 2 of AASHTO T84. And once our sample is in the saturated surface dry condition, we can proceed with the specific gravity test. Here, we want to partially fill our container with water. Then, introduce 500 plus or minus 10 grams of the sample into the container and fill the container to 90% capacity with the water. We now want to roll, invert, and agitate our container with the sample in it to eliminate any air bubbles. If necessary, adjust the temperature of the water to 23 plus or minus 1.7 degrees Celsius. We can now determine the mass of the container, specimen, and water filled to the calibration point. We can now remove the sample from the container and place the sample in an oven and dry to a constant mass. When dry, record the mass of the oven-dried specimen. Then, fill the container with just water to the calibration mark and get the weight of the container filled with just water to the calibration mark. When complete, we should have all the weights necessary to calculate bulk specific gravity or specific gravity on an oven dry basis, bulk specific gravity on a saturated surface dry basis, apparent specific gravity, and absorption. We should essentially have four weights. The mass of the oven dried specimen in air, this will be A, B is the mass of the container filled with just the water to the calibration point. S is the mass of the SSD specimen in air. And C is the mass of the container, the SSD specimen, and the water filled to the calibration point. During the performance review of most certification programs, you'll only be required to calculate the bulk specific gravity on a saturated surface dry basis and the absorption of the material. Therefore, let's go through those calculations here. Let's assume that we have recorded a mass of an oven dried specimen of 495.6 grams. We've also recorded the mass of our container filled with just water to the calibration point of 1,202.3 grams. The mass of our SSD specimen was 501.1 grams, and the mass of our container with the SSD specimen filled with water to the calibration point is 1,514.4 grams. To calculate the bulk specific gravity in the SSD condition, the calculation is S divided by B plus S minus C. Therefore, we're going to take the 501.1 grams, the weight of the SSD specimen, 
and divide it by the weight of the container filled with water to the calibration point plus the weight of the SSD specimen minus the weight of the container and the SSD specimen filled with water to the calibration point to give us a specific gravity in the SSD condition of 2.651 reporting to the nearest point zero zero one. The calculation for absorption is S minus A divided by A times 100. So here we would take the 501.1 grams, the weight of the SSD specimen, and subtract from it the weight of the oven dried specimen. We'd divide this value by the weight of the oven dried specimen and then multiply by 100 to arrive at an absorption of 1.1%. When reporting the relative density or specific gravity value, for AASHTO T84, this number is reported to the nearest point zero zero one, while for ASTM, it is reported to the nearest point zero one. However, for both AASHTO T84 and ASTM C128, absorption is reported to the nearest point one percent. And this will conclude Ashto T84 and ASTM C128, Specific Gravity and Absorption of Fine Aggregate. Here for your review are the deviations between Ashto and ASTM.